Hi, my name is Ben from Apfel Doctor Germany and today we got a video for review something, a review video for the new WLHT007. I got it straight from Union Repair and it's an iPhone X. It's an iPhone X, iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max platform, um, preheating platform for desoldering the board and solder it back together. Um, here I can show you how it looks, li look, looks like. Sorry for the chaos on my table, but I'm working the whole day here and um, I don't like to put it all away and do the review then because it is not uh, uh, authentic, authentic, authentic because this is my workspace and it looks like that. Here we got the head unit. It's the WLHT007 and you need a power plug and then you can put the power plug in here and get the device on. Here we got the preheating platform. The platform module, it is, um, I, sh I show you, I show you, um, I show you in a second. Okay. First, you have to set the language to English. Press the menu button, wait about um, about two seconds and when you get it um, from Union Repair it will be in Chinese so you have to juice that I just um, get it up to Chinese again like I got it from Union Repair it looks like that then just press the menu button press it again and then one time English and you got sorry I have to scrape my head um, then you um, then we are in English, okay? So, now I just restart the device one more time and then I can show you the function. I already tested it um, with my last repair. I just did an iPhone X um, with Hydra problem and I used this platform to desolder and to solder back the board. Um, it was good, it was really good. Um, the thing is, you have to set the temperature to 180 degree if you work um, with these iPhone X uh, boards. And um, please use your Fluke 116 or your JBC and uh, check that the temperature is right. If it is not right, you have to set up. Okay? That's really, really important because when you said 180 and uh, this device had 250 when I give it in here with 180 and that's not good. So check it up and um, configure the temperature in the menu. So if you can't uh, configure the, um, the temperature here, then just measure it up and then you know when I have 180 here I uh, have 250 here so you have to go down. That's the thing on these uh, Chinese products often the temperatures don't match um, so I'm a fan of the PPD 120 because there I can calibrate on the potentiometer. Um, this thing I don't have with the station but it's no problem you can measure up um, the, um, the temperature which is coming on the heating platform and then you can know how to set up your um, your temperature here on the main unit. Yeah, and that it is. Um, you can take a board, iPhone X for example, you just put it in here and then you can, it's, it is uh, XS now, what I have here, and you can desolder within seconds. Just uh, give in the temperature and the, um, the platform is heating up. Within seconds you have separated um, the, the layer and it really works great um, what on this station something which I I really like are these pins they go out and they are really on on my station I, I, I got here it is really perfect because I don't have to adjust the top layer board um, with my hands I just lay down here and just have a look that it sits here and here in a good way and then I can solder it down. It really, really, really works good on this station. The next thing is when we compare to the PPD120 that um, 
it is a little bit a little bit more flat yeah um, almost the same size from the height but a little bit more flat so you can work with it comfortable under the microscope but I only use it for soldering down or for taking off the top layer board and then I clean the pads with preheat. You can see this in my other videos. I have a lot of iPhone X, iPhone XS board reboil tutorial videos. You can check it there. Um, but what we can do in this video, we can take off this iPhone X top layer board just for, uh, just for showing you how fast it works. Okay, I give my temperature. And then I only have to wait some seconds and I can take off the top layer board, then I can clean the pads and I can solder back the top layer board. I don't uh, make the, the soldering back process within that video because um, it would take too much time. But I can show you how to desolder with this station without any problems. And um, the key feature on the station is that you really have the heating element only on the sides on this ppd 120 the whole board gets hot all the components on the board gets hot the bottom gets really hot but on this station only the sides where the where the board is soldered on the frame gets hot that's a really cool feature and i like it okay so just wait short time and then we can take off. This is a board which I already have uh, reboiled in another video, in a board tutorial, board reboil tutorial video. I got a PPD 183 solder paste on it. And you see, just wait some seconds and you can take it off. It really, really, really works amazing. And you only have the heat on the sides where you need the heat. And that's a key feature for me um, on that on that preheater. You can get that preheater on unionrepair.com. I don't want to make a product review taking 30 minutes and checking all the options you have. You have to, to buy the station and to see by yourself. You have two channels, you can program them channels. You have a sleep timer so you can say I only want to heat for about some minutes. We can check that in the video too. So you just have seen it one time. So when you, um, when you get the station on, you can program the channel. So when I say, okay, I want to have 180 degrees and I want to save that temperature on channel one, press channel one, hold, And we are done okay now when I set the temperature up and press again channel 1 it should jump you see it jumps down to the 180 degrees I go up I press the channel okay didn't work one more time again 180 degrees 180 degrees press the channel button wait until you get this beep and now when we take another temperature press one time okay and you see it jumps to the 180 degrees so you could do a second channel 150 degrees you press channel 2 you hold it and wait Okay, we go to channel 1, we go to channel 2. Okay, I have to save again. It's on these Chinese things, sometimes you have to... Um, you, have, you, you need some time sometimes, okay? So, done. Now we go to a temperature, we press channel 2. Don't work, but my channel 1 set it up okay so we can check in the no here we got no it's my first time I check it so we do it again I want 180 degrees I 
press channel 1 to save. Okay, saved. Now I go to another temperature, press channel 1. Doesn't work. Just doesn't work. Why it doesn't why it doesn't work? Some minutes before it worked and now it doesn't work. Okay. Just check again. Go to another channel. Uh, go to another temperature. Press don't work. Okay, I save this. Jump to another t temperature. Okay, it works. It's haptical, but it's no problem if you change your temperature by hand. It's really, it goes fast. It isn't the thing. You see, it works. I just have to press, wait. It saves the temperature. Now when I change the temperature and I press on it, for a short time, it goes to the temperature, but not every time. So for me, this feature isn't really, really amazing. Doesn't work every time. Um, so the haptic for that isn't the thing I I think it's not as good. Here you can set a timer. When you press on the timer button, you can say okay timer and um, can set a timer up to the time you want. I think the device looks really really nice. It's a good uh, uh, aluminium design. It's cool. And the key feature, like I said before, is that the heating element is only at the sides for the board. And that's the key feature. I hope you can use this review and it helps you um, to decide if you want to buy. When you want to buy or if you want to buy the device, you can get it on unionrepair.com. And um, we will see us with the next review. I got some gold stencils here. I got some screwdrivers here. I will have a look what we do next, okay? So, I'm out and we see us with the next video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to learn how to solder, check Bot Level Repair School and um, you can come to our Facebook group when you want, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. I'm out, yours Ben.